Today on Experts Showcase, we have Karen Beach, and she wants you to go on and get it together. And Karen, welcome to Expert Showcase. So glad to have you on as today's expert. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you, Mark? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So we're talking about go on and get it together. So give us a quick overview of what we're going to talk about so that our, our viewers are properly focused on the right topic here. Well, a lot of times people have come up with reasons why they can't do the things they want to do or the things they feel they need to do. So we're going to talk about some ways to overcome procrastination and get those few steps going. Excellent. So, And when we were prepping for the show, we, we generally promise people that we're going to focus on three main takeaways. So you and I were talking about the fact that we're going to start off by talking about the Focus 15, and you're going to explain what that is and why it's going to help people end procrastination. Then we're going to talk about starting where you are, and then we're going to talk about the fact that while it's important to have a plan, it's also important to have a plan B. So let's take those from the top, and uh, you can educate me on behalf of, uh, of our viewers here. I'm the professional subject to be educated by our experts here. So tell me about the Focus 15. You were telling me a little bit about that before we got started, and, and why is that you know, critical when you're working with your clients to help them get over procrastination? Um, it's actually a cornerstone in my first workbook, Get It Together Girl. Um, about home organization and my concept is simple that anybody can do just about anything for 15 minutes I can do the elliptical for 15 minutes so that's saying something <laughs> so if you take 15 focused minutes and by focused minutes I mean non multitasking minutes you're gonna make me put my phone away <laughs> I'm gonna make you put your phone away I'm gonna make you turn away from the TV Mm -hmm. um, in the half of the time that it takes you to watch a sitcom, that's yeah. what we're talking about. And just take 15 minutes, and I encourage my clients to even set a timer. Mm -hmm. Set a timer and devote 15 minutes to a task. See how much cleaning you can get done in 15 minutes. You can um, start reading. You can write half of a blog in 15 minutes. If you just take 15 minutes, at the end of 15 minutes, one of two things can happen. Either you can say, I've devoted 15 minutes, I'm done, mm -hmm. or you can say, okay, I've got a little momentum going. And a lot of times with procrastination, we don't want to start. But after you've gotten a good start, you can say, okay, well, I've done this for 15 minutes, I can do 15 minutes more or I can make another two phone calls in 10 minutes, whatever that is. So either you're, you've honored your commitment and you can stop after 15 minutes, or if you have the time and now you have the momentum, you can keep going. I think that's perfect, Karen, because I, I, I don't know, I, I think maybe you've, you, you, you know that I'm a procrastinator somehow. You've intuited this, but you hit the nail on the head. I mean, half the time I will put something off because I know it's going to take me roughly two hours to do the whole thing, and I don't have two hours, and so I put it off, but maybe I could have gotten a sizable, you know, but you're absolutely right. If, if I broke it down into 15-minute chunks or at least started, you know, maybe I'm wrong, and it doesn't take two hours, and I shock myself, and it only took me 25 minutes, right? So... Exactly. This is very good advice for people like me who like to put things off. And, uh, you know, when we do our behind the episodes uh, scene, Chris will be here to, to be nodding and saying, yep, that's, that's pretty much what Mark does. So excellent <laughs> stuff. So, Karen, let's, let's talk a little bit about your next point, which is start where you are. I mean, what do you mean by that? How does that help? How do you work with clients uh, by, with this concept here? Another reason people don't start is because they want to wait for a better time. <laughs> they want to wait until um, it's, I can't start working out now. It's too cold. I have to wait till it's springtime. Um, I have to start when the stars are in perfect alignment. There you go. And Saturn but, is retrograde, do whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or the other thing is, and I face this challenge myself with my weight. I remember when I used to be this big. 
And it's like, if I have to start from here, it's going to take me so much longer. I'm only going to lose a pound or two a week and da 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 Why but bother, you, right? <laughs> That's a, start, that mindset. Right, you, but you have to start where you are. Mm -hmm. You have to start where you are because that's the only place you are. <laughs> exactly. That's and the you, only place that you can do anything, right? <laughs> and you have to get over those initial things. Doing something small is better than doing nothing at all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can think back to the time when I used to do back-to-back -back aerobics classes and I was cute little petite thing. Um, those days are gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I need to just accept that. And and I was at nine rounds doing kickboxing, and they were like, go to the next round, do this. I'm like, um, I need the fat girl discount. I need the <laughs> fat girl discount. But <laughs> I'm starting somewhere. And starting, it, it might not be where I used to be, but it's never going to get any better until I start doing something. I, so, I love that, yeah. If you start small, I can't run five miles, maybe. I can't um, save, a, I don't have $1,000 in the bank. All I can put aside is 10 But if you put that 10 aside every week, by the end of the year, you'll be halfway to your $1,000. So you have to start somewhere. And it's better to start small, as I said, than not to start at all. Isn't that such a weird quirk of us as human beings, right? We're always looking for the the big action or the quick fix or, you know, we're so seduced by those lines, you know, drop 20 pounds in a weekend without having to change your lifestyle whatsoever, right? I mean, it doesn't work, right? I mean, but but we want it to work, right? Whereas you're, you're so right. Everything, you know, is small actions repeated. And if you had a small action repeated and repeated and repeated, you actually get somewhere. I mean, uh... People have often been awestruck when they're sitting on the edge of uh, of the Grand Canyon and and realizing how do you create the Grand Canyon? Well, you know, a gazillion years of water running by, right? I mean, it's not right. a big action. And you talked about your two hours. I can't do anything in two hours. That's another thing that stops people. Start small. Right. Do something for fifteen minutes. Do something for a half hour, mm -hmm. and you'll be ahead of the game than you would be if you never started. Absolutely. I love that. We're, we're, so we got the 15 minute rule, you know, that gets us going. This also gets us going by just, you know, don't worry about the ideal moment to start doing something. The ideal moment is right now. Just do that 15 minutes in the here and now, right? Well, mm -hmm. let's move forward then to, um, I, I love this line. I'm looking forward to learning what you, what you're, you know, saying here, have a plan, which is already good advice because a lot of people don't even have a plan, but have a plan B. Tell me about this. Most people, the overwhelming majority of people who set New Year's resolutions do not accomplish them. Mm -hmm. And I believe that a lot of their lack of accomplishment comes from starting good, but then something happens. Mm -hmm. I was going to the gym every morning, but then I got a little flu bug and I was out a couple days or... I was doing really good on my diet, then those people worked my nerves, and then I had to go eat some fried food, and now I'm off. Whatever happens, something derails you. And people get discouraged when they get derailed. Mm -hmm. And in my other Get It Together Girl workbook, I have one on goal setting. One of the things I tell people at the end in my little get real section is you're going to fail. And that's not me being discouraging. It's not me being pessimistic. It's me being realistic. There's going to be a time when you eat that extra strike slice of pizza or that Krispy Kreme donut. There's going to be time when you get stressed and maybe you do take a couple puffs off a cigarette. It's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So what are you going to do to get yourself back together, to mm -hmm. get back on the horse? That's where the plan B comes in. Yeah. Because you had a great plan, 
But now you kind of fell off course. Mm -hmm. So let plan B get you back on course. And it's things that you do. It might be people you speak to. And it could be things you say to yourself to get you back on track. But whatever that is, that's your plan B. Mm -hmm. That is excellent. I, I love that because you're so right. I mean, you know, when we set out to have that New Year's resolution, in our mind we're seeking perfection, right? And the minute we go off, because we're not perfect, we say, eh, <laughs> I'm done with the whole plan. I'm just going to go back to my Ben and Jerry's diet, right? Uh, right, but if you look at anything you've accomplished, if you look back at it, it wasn't perfect. You know, you finished school, but you didn't ace every test. Right, right. You know, you might have a successful marriage or relationship, but that doesn't mean that you don't argue, that that person doesn't get on your nerves sometimes. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's just the way of things. In our minds, we expect perfection, although nothing, even things that work, are never perfect. Right. And the truth is, we we learn more from falling down than we do from from being perfect, right? I mean, it's uh, exactly they're often painful lessons, but incredibly important. They move us forward. If you have the plan B, though, I love that's why I love that is you know have the plan, but plan for that step you're going to take to get yourself back in the saddle when you fall off, because that has to be part of your plan. That's terrific. Yeah. Well, Karen, I can see that people really should be getting in touch with you because they have a lot to learn from you. Uh, these are great bits of wisdom and I, I can see how they're starting to fit together into a much larger picture and I think there's way more than these three bullet points I'm gonna guess is that correct <laughs> yes there is but let me just recap what we've been talking about today so this is about you know go on and get it together there's a theme here you know and uh, we've been talking about the idea of the focus 15 and ending procrastination we've talked about the idea of starting right where you are so that you get moving and you don't start waiting for this ideal moment to come along when you're gonna actually start and then have a plan but have this plan B for when you fall off the wagon how do you get back on the wagon and get right back on track and not derail the entire project so this is great stuff so Karen I, I want to tell people how they can get in touch with you because uh, I think you have a ton of great stuff to offer you have a really cool project that you're in the middle of, of working on that I want to tell people about I so, am go ahead I'm sorry I'm sorry no, no please go ahead be excited <laughs> but um, one of the things that I've done with get it together girl is I've developed a series of workbooks to help people get it together so mm -hmm. I've covered organizing your home in 15 minutes a day. I've covered time management, um, holistic goal setting. But the fourth book is the one that I'm most excited about, and it's called Get It Together, Girl. It's about the money, honey. <laughs> and it's all about a month's worth of things you can do to add more money to the end of your month, let's just say. and. Okay. It goes through everything from levelizing your utilities so that you know how much is coming out every month to using gift cards to help you budget. If you know you're going to spend $50 on shoes and you know you like to shop at DSW, then get a $50 gift card for DSW. Mm -hmm. And when that money is gone, <clears throat> exhausted that much of your budget. Excellent. Um, there's a story I tell that um, I was out of work for about nine months and when I got back to work you know it takes time to catch up with all your expenses and I used to run out of gas every Thursday before payday and it happened so much that AAA sent me a letter and said, hey, don't call us anymore. <laughs> you run out of gas. I didn't know <laughs> they did that, but, <laughs> but they did. And that's when I found out about the gift cards because what would happen is I would set aside money for gas. And then my girlfriend Kara would call me and she'd be like, girl, let's go out to dinner. I'd be like, oh, I can't afford it. But then I would take my gas money and go. So when I needed gas, that money wasn't there. So I ended up, when I would fill up my gas, I would go into the store and get a gift card for gas. I can't spend that on anything but gas. 
and I put it in my glove box. So when I needed it, it was there. And so gift cards are something that you can, can really be a tool, a gift to yourself um, to help you budget. And so I really believe in this book and what it can do for people. And in the past, I've used free um, publicity and marketing tools, mm -hmm. and I've sold a modest number of books, but I want to get this book into the hands of more people. Mm -hmm. So I've started a pub slush campaign, which is crowdfunding for authors, to help me raise money to promote and publicize the book. And you can find it at um, moneyhoney.pubslush.com. So Excellent. Moneyhoney.pub slush. Pub, where you go to have a beer. <laughs> slush, that stuff that gets under your car if you're up uh -huh. north and it's snowing all the time. That's Pub right. Slush.com. Money, well, honey. We, we, we've got it up on screen for uh, for folks. Uh, Karen, you know, yes, I, I'm going to really encourage people to go there and support Karen's project uh, because clearly she's got great wisdom to uh, to. You know, share with people if you're looking to get it together, girl. She's got the entire series, and this is just uh, the the newest one that she's working on for you to help her work on. Is all good stuff. And the campaign actually doesn't start till April third. Okay. But if you go to the site, there's a button that asks you to become a fan. Okay. And all you have to do is enter your email address, and you'll know when the campaign goes live. Excellent. Um, there's tons of, you're not just giving me money. Um, you're receiving something for it. You can get a copy of the book. You can get an autographed copy from me. Um, you can, it, I've got tons of rewards for people who um, contribute to the campaign. There you go. So it's a win-win proposition. So head over to moneyhoney.pubslush.com. Get connected with Karen and her project there. Uh, Karen, this has been terrific having you our, as our guest expert today on Experts Showcase. It's been uh, great. Thanks, thanks for being here. Thank you, Mark. And another great expert Showcase episode. Chris, what should people do right now? Yeah, if you're watching this and you're a coach or consultant, imagine what it would do for you and your business if you were a guest on Experts Showcase. And here's the best part. Other than, other than possibly increasing your business, an appearance on Experts Showcase is free. We give you a copy of your episode so you can use as marketing collateral. And we give you a, a coaching session to go along with it to, to tell you how you can best market your episode and other tips and tricks about your, your business. So what you want to do is head on over to expertshowcase.com, click on the big yellow apply button, and apply to be our next featured guest on the Expert Showcase. Now if you're a coach or consultant and you've already imagined what having your own internet talk show will do for you, then we want you to head to videocontent.agency and check us out, check our packages out, and get in contact with us. Let's see if we're a good fit, and let's see if we're the ones to produce you and make you the next star and have your own internet talk show. And until next time, uh, Mark, anything else? I couldn't have said it any better, so uh, just do what he said.